18 years ago today, on September 11, 2001, in New York City, 2,977 innocent American civilians were lost. Of the 2,977 lost lives, 412 were emergency responders, firefighters, police officers, and emergency medical technicians were needlessly ripped from us on this fateful day. <clears throat> 343 of these were, lives were firefighters. As they were bravely performing their life-saving duties in the Twin Towers. After a cowardly attack on thousands of innocent civilians, the helmet before you represents the 343 firefighter lives that were taken that day. Let it be a symbol of what cannot be destroyed by our enemies. May it inspire us with gratitude and a never-ending sense of service. We do not know when we'll be attacked again. Today could ultimately be an uneventful yesterday to an uneventful tomorrow. But we must never forget the possibility that tomorrow could be the day or today could be the day of an attack yet to be waged. We cannot be lulled into the same false sense of security as many of our countrymen. We must train and prepare. We must be ready for the attack today and hope that it never comes. Many of us can remember exactly where we were and what we were doing on this awful day. We're now starting to welcome a new generation of recruits that will have no life experiences or memories of these horrific events. In today's society, we face many new challenges and dangers. All across our great country, domestic terrorism reigns. From Dayton, Ohio to El Paso, Texas and the USA over. We will steadfastly stand strong, steady and undeterred from performing our life-saving mission. Momentarily, the ceremonial bell shall ring the four fives to remember and memorialize the 343 firefighters and other responders that were lost on September 11, 2001. The fire service is rich with ceremony, custom, and tradition. Our custom of rendering final honors has its origins in the fire department of the city of New York where many years ago, long before radios or pagers, fire alarms and daily announcements were dispatched from central headquarters to outlying firehouses by a system of bell commands and telegraph. Each different type of alarm or announcement would have its own number and series of bell strikes. When a firefighter died in the line of duty or when some, some important official died, headquarters would transmit five bell strikes repeated in four series, with a slight pause between each series, followed by the announcement. This was done as long ago as 1865 in the New York City Fire Department to inform the rank and file of the death of Abraham Lincoln. This custom has continued down to the present day and this form of rendering final honors to departed comrades is known in the fire service as striking four fives. As firefighters and Americans, we can never forget the horrific events of this dreadful day. Ceremonial Guard, ring the fives. United States Navy retired Lieutenant Colonel Commander Ron Rowan 
would now like to honor and pay tribute to those lost on 9-11 through presentation of commemorative American flags to Offutt first responders. These flags were flown over the U.S. Strategic Command Headquarters in the Nebraska State Capitol in, on in honor of our emergency responders. Commander Rowan will now present a flag to security force defenders. We'll now present a flag to the canine handling section. Would you join me in prayer? God, in an uncertain world, there are those who are called to serve and protect others. As we look around, we see people and challenges, dangers that we might describe as a wolf, looking to attack, to destroy, and to harm those that we might call sheep. But standing in between is the sheepdog, the firefighters, the defenders, the police, even the military, those who would stand in between danger and the everyday people. As we remember those who gave their lives so many years ago, we honor them for their selflessness, that they chose that profession and entered into an opportunity to serve others. We thank them for their service, for without them we would not have the freedom and the peace that we enjoy. And we pray for those who love them, especially today as they remember their sacrifice and our loss. May those who gave their lives on September 11th, 2001, be an inspiration to us, to better living, to live out those values of selflessness, service, and excellence. And I know, Lord, they would want us to remember those who are deployed and in harm's way, performing that role of the sheepdog now. We ask that you would keep them safe and bring them back to us soon. We pray all these things in your powerful name. Amen. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our ceremony. Thank you for taking the time to honor our past firefighters who have given their lives and our present firefighters who take the call. Good day. <laughs>